The goal for today is 100 grams of protein. I think we can do it. It's gonna be 72 degrees and sunny today. It's February 28th, so that it shouldn't be that, but we'll take it. So today I've got a big workout. I'm gonna eat really healthy, high protein, and maybe work in the garden since it's gonna be such a pretty day. We'll just have a productive, healthy, fake spring day. Got breakfast. Okay, the goal for today is 100 grams of protein. My future trainer, she gave me that goal for today. And I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I've been really bad, very bad, about protein for the last, well, my entire life. But I think we can, oh, you want some? You want some? No. We've got two eggs, a half cup cottage cheese, kimchi, and a piece of toast. Two eggs is like 12 grams of protein. The cottage cheese is 14. No, I don't know that there's anything in the toast. Probably not. So I'll just put the math here. 26. I don't know if you can hear all the sounds of spring out there, but it is alive. 26 grams of protein down, 74 to go. We can do it. Right, Bubba? Wait, right? Right. Mm. There you go. Outdoor walk. I'm at, oh, let's see what, how many steps I'm at. 4,600 steps, which that's okay. We'll take that. I can hit 7,000 pretty easily. Yeah, so I'm sitting here. I've taken some time to just do a little journaling. I normally journal in the morning, but I've had a really weird routine lately, like since leaving my job, honestly, before that too, because I wasn't working for a little bit. Haven't quite figured it out yet. I haven't quite figured out what my routine looks like, who I am. <laughs> whatever and it's good it's not bad it's just like i just kind of i'll describe it to andy as like floating like i'm just like kind of floating through my day and so i would like to add a little more structure so maybe actually that's part of this i started doing this last month was i made in my journal just like kind of some goals and like intentions for february so let's kind of look back over those see how i did and set new intentions for march since that starts tomorrow every year february it just blows my mind how short it is here we are, entering March. I have a feeling I didn't quite accomplish everything, but we'll see, let's just see. Last month's YouTube goals, okay. Hit 100 subscribers, which we did. I think right now I'm sitting at 117. Granted, that can always go down, but I don't think it'll drop below 100. We can consider that a success. Post four long videos, I posted three. It happens, okay? 28 shorts, I might've posted that many. I know I'm on day 21 of posting for my 30 day challenge, 30 shorts in 30 days. We can just consider that a success. I've posted a fuckload of shorts, too many. Okay, so that's YouTube goals. I mean, I hit 100 subscribers, which I would say is pretty cool. So if you are a subscriber, thank you. And if you have not subscribed, what are you doing? Moving on to, I had written down fitness goals. I had work out four times a week, do three hot yoga sessions, which I didn't do a single one, stretch more, drink more water, and eat more protein. Pretty much all of those I accomplished, except for the yoga. Drinking more water, nah, I don't know about that. Okay, so now we're gonna look at March. So I wrote these down. They could be a little ambitious. I don't remember how many subscribers I was at when I said I wanted to hit 100, so it might've been closer, that's okay. So for March 2023 goals for YouTube, 
I'm gonna say hit 200 subscribers. I think we can do it. If I stay consistent and I just keep making stuff that I enjoy, I think we can accomplish it. Post four long videos, I'm feeling capable. Post at least three shorts per week once my 30 days of shorts challenge is over, which we're getting very close, thank God. Fitness goals, pretty much the same as what was just in my last video. And then for my life, I would like to hang out with one friend per week, go work from a coffee shop once a week, read one book, we'll just say one, because I did just get a new book and I'm very excited about it. My intention for March is going to be to create more and consume less. You know, create more food at home and create more content and create more like interesting moments in my life. Yeah, mostly content though. Like I would like to create more content than I consume, uh, which is pretty much impossible, but at least I could spend more time creating than I do consuming. Um, okay, I'm gonna finish up this coffee and I'm gonna go take a look at the garden. <sighs> That's it behind me and I'm, I'm nervous about it. Just as I left it last fall. Here are my gardening tools. Literally right where I left them. The garden is a bigger project than I thought. <laughs> Shocking. And I need to buy some supplies. I did a little research and for my blackberries, I need to really prune them back. And so I need like proper pruning shears. I need to get some mulch. It's not gonna be a project for today, sadly. I just had to stand and like stare down the neighbor dog and I was literally just being like, this is my yard. I'm allowed to be here. Um, I'm sure if anybody saw me, they would have thought it seemed a little crazy. And I felt a little crazy, but you know what? He left. Anyway, the garden, it's not happening today. But I feel good that like I have a plan at least. It is 2 p.m. and I have not eaten anywhere near enough protein. I've only had 26 grams of protein. So I have 74 grams of protein to get in by the end of the day. So let's go do that. We only have one banana, so. We're splitting this. What, is, what would you say? This is a protein shake? I'm eating this tortilla. Is it a protein shake or a protein smoothie? Shake? It's a shake. This is pretty good. I'm good for this. Hey. <laughs> How many grams of protein do you think this is? It's 10 from the powder plus Greek yogurt plus bee pollen. So I need to get 56 of grams of protein. Oh, the boy. Oh, the little boy. You want? Oh, ah. Oh. Goose. I'm very bad. Fuck, jeez. It's a ball. Okay, eating that tortilla earlier really got me wanting tacos. And is it 3.40? Yes. This is honestly even like late. I ideally like to eat at like 3 p.m. I don't know. Zero dollars was received on. That was pretty delicious. Half a pound of ground beef, I looked it up, is 49 grams of protein. So that's great, we love that. And then I had some black beans in there, which was probably like 10 grams of protein. So that was 60 grams plus 46 from earlier. We're over 100 grams of protein. I did it. I feel pretty good about that. I was thinking that I was gonna have like some Greek yogurt and berries and stuff for dessert, but I'm honestly really very full and I still need to get my steps in. I'm at 6,100 steps. I should go walk outside. It's so beautiful out. Ah, you just smacked me. He's really hungry. Ah. You're hungry. 
You also stole daddy's tortilla right out of his hand. Ow, ow, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna feed him, get my steps in. I hope you enjoyed this. It was very, very realistic, <laughs> um, maybe too much. And let me know what your intentions are for March or your goals. I'm feeling really good about my intention of creating more and consuming less. Feels good to me. So let me know what your intentions are for March and I'll see you in another video next week. Bye.